to work on this painting a la prima and I did not put in a drawing or anything like that. I do think that the image looked better on the computer, but also I want to make some changes to it. So for example, the sky is kind of just blank and white, so I'm going to put a little bit of color in there. Also, I want to include a little bit more blue and gray in this one. So I'm going to play with adding some more blue in those faraway mountains, whereas right now they're kind of a little bit orange. I also don't think I'm going to include these buildings. Normally I say to start with the darkest things, uh, but in this case, I'm actually just going to put a little color in for the sky. And my reasoning here is simply that all of these landforms are going to overlap that bit of sky. So it'll be a little bit easier just to put something in there to begin with. The skies are generally darker at the top than at the bottom. So what I'm scrubbing in is a really basic color and I just mixed together blue and white. And to be honest, that doesn't usually look very natural for a sky. So especially as I move toward the bottom of the sky, I'm going to dirty that color up a little bit with just the tiniest amounts of yellow and red. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the landforms here. Okay, so I'm going to put this landform somewhere over here. So I'm going to block in basic light and shadows. So I'm going to try and get the way that hue, value, and chroma changes with distance in that first layer, but without detail. Before I put in this light color, I'm going to try and move on to this cooler, bluer green that's in the shadows there. I don't need to match the color, but when I put that color over here next to my shadow color, I want to try and establish approximately the same relationship. Now I am going to move on to that light color up front here, which has a lot more yellow in it. As we get closer to the front and the ground is sloping down, I see a little bit more warmth in there. So I'm going to create a green that has a little bit more red content in it. It's going to be a little bit on the muddy side. This color here is quite golden, meaning that it has some red in it as well. So I'm adding yellow and red to get it more toward orange. And then I'm throwing some white in there. Now if I cool this color down a little bit, so I'm just going to let it mix with some of that blue that's sort of at the bottom, I feel like I get a nice color for some of the little lights that are happening in here. Alright, I'm going to get too detailed. So let's keep moving toward the back here. I just don't think I'm going to try and really match exactly the colors that I see in the photo reference. I feel like everything in the background needs to go lighter. And I want to let some of these edges blend together a little bit because softer edges help show that something is far away in the distance. I'm going to continue to work toward the front. I know I need to lighten a little bit in here and create a, a softer transition there. And I need to bring out a bit more of this texture and some of the texture that's starting to emerge in this area. The trick up front here is going to be to continue to have contrast 
and build some values on top without totally losing the chroma. Since I want to maintain some chroma up here, I'm going to go in with more darks before I go in with more lights. That way I don't lighten more than I need to. I do think I'll let the chroma drop a little bit on these lights because I don't necessarily need the front of this painting to be screaming loud in terms of chroma. So I'm not going to be able to do much more, but I think in terms of an atmospheric perspective study. This isn't bad. I have the important things going on such as higher contrast up front between values of light and dark and less contrast in the distance, more detail up front, less detail the further away you get, and the intensity of the yellow decreases. So I was still using some yellow here in the background but I wasn't using as much yellow as I used up here. So there's a greater yellow content there. And again, I still have some red in the background as well, but it's less of an orangey red and it, it turns a little bit cool with a little bit more of that blue in there. And you can see the difference between the green from here to back here. It gets a little bit more blue and a little less chromatic, which helps again with the distance.